I'd like to provide you an update where we are currently in our performance evaluation of core materials. I have just completed the first five series with standard available core materials on the market. So there's a normal uh, toroid course and we have at the last session we, we did talk about gap cores or here in that example the UR core. I did analyze and did define and did, did show the the functionality of such a core, what is the benefit and how can it be used. And we're going to move over now to the bespoke definition or this bespoke uh, production of core systems, core arrays. And we will break here new ground. First of all, I'm going to use the most efficient and the most um, 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 advanced material we have available on the market. I use pure mat glass cores. This is a traditional ribbon tape from which mat glass cores are produced. Um, you can see it in my first um, video series uh, or announcement of the mat glass cores, how mat glass is used in, 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 in this kind of core materials. You can see here the wound um, couple of hundred times or up to thousand times to build an individual course. These are split course as you can see here. So they have, um, I have the ability now to build an array and I have many of this course to build a very large array. That means we will not have a one-to-one -one relationship between a primary and secondary. We have a many-to-many -many relationships and that will become interesting because we're gonna have the natural way of energy flow in terms of asymmetrical energy flow available now here as a, as an, as an, as a possibility to develop that. So that means I can build numeric structures with core materials. I can define them based on a structure and values the energy flow in the system. There is not a one-to-one -one relationship anymore as said. There will be a many-to-many -many relationship, but that also means that we have a more efficient way to transfer energy. Of course, there will be losses between of the small gaps in between. However, overall, there should be a benefit, which I will highlight. I will also use the ribbon tape to build very specific cores. Bear in mind, or let's, as an example, if you build a Tesla coil, you normally build a Tesla coil with, with a non-magnetic material. You use a normal tube core, acrylic or any standard tubes um, with PE you can, you can buy. If you would now add a couple of layers of matte glass on top of that before you mount the coil, yes, your frequency will decrease, but also your K value between primary and secondary would increase. You have a much stronger bonding between both. That means that the energy transfer between both will be much higher. That means you can produce much higher output on a secondary as it would be with a normal core. So this is only small examples. That also means that I will use this material to build very specific core or um, transformer systems, air core transformer system with, with an enhanced um, K factor and with using also the asymmetrical um, way of deploying primary to secondary to enhance it even further. So that will be kind of exotic what I'm going to do in the next, next phase here. However, we want to breach the normal level of functionality we have in normal cores existing. We can go only that high with core materials as it is reaches um, 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 a saturation point. And I hope with the combination of different materials and transformer cores and combination of, of core winding techniques, I can exceed that to a much higher limit. Thank you.